Hello, everyone. Today's devotional reading will be from the Gospel of John, chapter 15, verses 1 through 8. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He removes every branch in me that bears no fruit. Every branch that bears fruit, he prunes to make it bear more fruit. You have already been cleansed by the words that I have spoken to you. Abide in me as I abide in you. Just as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who abide in me and I in them bear much fruit, because apart from me you can do nothing. Whoever does not abide in me is thrown away like a branch and withers. Such branches are gathered, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, ask for whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. My Father is glorified by this, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. The vine and the branch discord, or discourse. It destroys a dichotomy between Catholics and Protestants in our ongoing debate for the last 500 years. You got to earn salvation. No, it's impossible. We're saved by faith. Well, you can't just say that. You, you can't just think the right thing in your head and live life however you want. Well, that's not what we teach. Well, yes, we do. And we go back and forth. Sadly, for our separated brethren, on both sides, we tend to caricaturize and cherry pick and assume the worst possible intent of the other side. We don't really understand each other. Jesus obliterates this conflict right here, right now. We remain in Jesus Christ, in the Eucharistic life, and we're transfigured by him, transformed by him to be his hands and feet in the world. If we're not being transformed or working with him, we have no part of him. The end. And it's not, you better make the cut or else. And so we see the centuries of debate between faith and works. It's rendered asunder right here. It's faith that saves us, that works through love. For your faith isn't working through love, it's not faith. So we look at the Catholics and the Protestants can look at each other. And in knowledge, yes, we certainly have differences. But we pray that one day they'll be resolved. One day we'll be one church again. Because in the end, by that baptism, by, that, uh, by the Eucharist we take, by the same Jesus Christ, confessed the same Nicene Creed, we are all his. We're all one church. And so often the debates that we engage in are just egos, people having to be right. But the truth is this. We don't work our way into heaven, and heaven's not a matter of just thinking the right thing. Nothing else matters. We are saved by a living, breathing faith that's centered on Jesus Christ. And he transforms us to be his. That faith that works through love is what saves the end. So we pray every day the Holy Spirit may bring us to repentance to the true life-giving faith. Let us close with a prayer. Lord, destroy our egos. Humble us, God, to accept our brothers and sisters and guide us always to love and have faith as you commanded to bear much fruit.